everybody! Today we're going to show you how to paint these awesome autumn pictures. This was Kimberly's idea. This is the first time that I ever painted a picture like this on a canvas. She showed me how to do it as we were doing this video. <laughs> so if you see me messing up, it's because it's the first time I did it too. But look how awesome mine turned out and it's my first time painting it. So it's easy enough for a beginner to do this. This was my first picture I did. I did this at work. It took me about 15 minutes to do because I had to hurry up before teaching a class on how to paint this picture. And it was my first time painting the picture. So I'm one of those people that you just pick a picture and you go, okay, I'm gonna take this picture, I'm gonna make it my own, and I'm gonna change little things about it, and I went with it. I always do that. It's abstract, it's easy. You'll have fun doing it. Always make it your own, be creative. That's what this channel is about. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so we are going to be painting this picture up here. And what I did was, with the blending the background, that is probably the most difficult part. You would think it's this, but the blending the background is actually the most difficult part. You start with a little bit of white in the center, and you work your way to a darker color, a darker color, and then to a black. Since orange and yellow go really well together, I'm going to do a folly looking one. Those are the colors I'm going to be using for this one. This is my paintbrush I'm using. Normally I would use a larger flat brush for this, but since these are my only two big brushes that I brought with me, these are the two we're going to be using. With blending colors, you want to water down your brush and water down your canvas a little. You want to keep your paints nice and wet. Doing it in an oval. I know that you can't see this, but you will in just a second. Okay, work quickly. Don't go on the middle. You want to go on the outside. And blend your colors outward. It doesn't matter how big your oval is on the outside. Now what I'm going to do is, since we're still working with the light colors, I'm going to add some more white on the side. And we're going to rinse our brush. Still with it wet. I'm going to dip into the white again. And go into the middle. And work your way outward. Go from the middle and work your way outward. Now we're going to take a little bit of the darker yellow and we're going to go right around the outside. And blend it in with the light yellow on the inside. Orange and yellow mixed together. You want it nice and watery on your brush. It's easier to blend the colors together if it's nice and watery. Rinse it and dip back into the yellow. Go back over to where the orange. edge of the orange is and the yellow. And you're going to blend those two colors together. Alright, I'm going to go into my darker orange. If you don't think it's blending correctly, just add a little bit of water and just go around where the lighter orange is. Alright, next you're going to grab your black. I know that sounds intimidating. Black? What? Hmm. You're just gonna go around the edges. And hit all the edges. Each time you go to get some more orange, you have to rinse off your brush and then go back into the orange. Otherwise, your orange will just turn out black. Now you have to do white again, and watch with white. White, you're going to start in the middle, like you did before. 
Don't be shy with it. Get, get a stink load of it. And just go, go outward into your yellow. And then come back in with your yellow. And it goes lighter. You're going to grab more white. You're going to go into the yellow. You're going to go further out. And then you're going to come back in. So you just got to blend it, blend it, blend it. Let's make the tree. These brushes are the same that we were using. Mine's just a tad bit smaller. With this picture, I did like a curved uh, trunk. So that's what we're gonna do with this. We're just gonna find your, about where the middle is. Or curve line up and go to, toward the middle again. It does not matter what this looks like. Just kinda guess with it. You can make it thicker after you're done coming out with your outline. Don't worry about making it thick right now. Now you just have to come up with a way to put your branches. It does not have to be exactly like this. I did this with the kids at my work and they just kind of came up with everything themselves. And don't overthink it. You overthink it, you mess up, then you're mad. So don't overthink it, just do it. You think, hmm, I'm gonna put a branch right here, I'm gonna do a swirly right here. Do it, don't even think about it, just do it. Now, when you're doing trees, remember that when you're going from the trunk to the edge of the branch, make sure that the part near the trunk is thicker than the part toward the end. It, you want it to get thinner and thinner as it goes down. On the bottom, just go right off your canvas. Now we're going to do the swing. All you have to do is do two parallel lines down, one a little bit longer than the other. Do a rectangle around the bottom where the swing seat is. Put two lines across, which are representing the knots underneath the swing, and put a little red heart on the swing. I have an old paintbrush here. It's one that's like made out of straw, I think, something like that. And I'm just gonna dip it into a little bit of white. Flick it. There you go. Your painting is done. Yay! Yay! This picture is for my sister Lindsay. It is her birthday coming up soon. And I put three hearts on her swing because one is for her, one is for her husband, and one is for her baby. Happy birthday, Lindsay! Happy birthday! We love you! Today's shout out goes to my two darn kids. She has an awesome site. Go check her out. She's one of my faithful subscribers. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed watching us paint these awesome autumn pictures. We'd love to hear from you if you give this a try. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. This is what we're doing today. <laughs> Little suckers. Okay. Okay? Okay, bring it out. Okay, let's go. What are we gonna say? Hi everybody! <laughs> Absolutely stinking toot and right. <laughs> wow, that's a loud bug. <laughs> Miss Perfect? No way! Partly. <laughs> I'm partly perfect too.